Right, just a quick video. Now, some people, some people think, seem to think that um, DFNs and QFNs are a real pain to work with and difficult, but actually, um, with a little bit of practice, they're incredibly easy. Got a little board uh, down here, very, very small, very densely packed. It's got um, leads on the other side, so it's lots and lots of scope for doing damage, but because I uh, didn't read the data sheet quite as thoroughly as I should, I need to replace this this chip with this other one, slightly different version of it. Now the first thing you need is just flux everywhere on the um, the chip you're taking off and also on the uh, the underside of the one you're putting on, you can just never have too much flux. The other thing is I'm going to put the new one obviously the right way up, very close by, so it's easier at hand. The other really important thing is, um, when using hot air tool, let it warm up, give it about a minute to actually stabilise because obviously the, you know, the heating element will warm up but then you've actually got the nozzle, you know, the actual nozzle itself needs to get to a stable temperature otherwise it's just going to uh, be unstable. So, um, so this is a lifestyle which is quite high quality uh, hot air gun but the cheap ones are probably just as good really, I mean it's just, it's just air after all. Um, this is a fairly small nozzle, this is about 3 um, more diameter nozzle just to reduce the um, error that I'm heating up. Now, because I'm taking the part off, I'm going to concentrate the heat on the part itself uh, initially and then just um, spread it around just to heat, heat up the pad. Well, so I don't really care if I kill this part, but it won't, it won't done, the part will be fine. But uh, I'm sort of going to start the heat on the, uh, on the part. And you, 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 you fairly quickly um, get a feel for how close you need to do it. You know, your temperature control is basically down to um, how close you put the nozzle to the part. And you can see, you know, the, you can see the flux drying out and you can see the solder start to sparkle as it uh, melts as well quite easily. You see it's snugged onto the pads. And if you give it a little tap down, you see it just bouncing on the molten solder. That's it. Easy as that. 